welcome back to sous vide everything guys today i'm going to try to give my friends the peter luger experience check it out peter luger is a very famous restaurant in new york city that has been making the same type of steak since 1887 and today i'm going to cook the steaks just like they do so let's do it I started off with two beautiful steaks which were two inches thick. This is a ribeye which was aged for 45 days. And then we have a beautiful porterhouse steak. The first thing we need to do is remove all the pellicles from the dry age. After trimming the steak, you can really see how beautiful it looks. From my knowledge, this is as good, if not better than Peter Luger's. Now for the T-bone, it is not dry aged, but this quality meat right here will do just fine. It has great intramuscular fat, but it is not dry aged. I'm seasoning these steaks just like they do on the restaurant with only salt and nothing else. Now there's left to do is bag it up. For the T-bone, I decided to do a bone guard. And it's quite simple, just cut a little piece and put it on the bones and then put it in a regular vacuum bag and you're done. For my side dish, I am doing a wedged salad. Remember exact amount in the description down below. I started off with homemade bacon, chopped it up in small cubes and pan fried them until they were crispy. Now I must warn you, these bacon bits are very addicting, especially if you did it at home. If you have not seen my bacon video, make sure you check it out later on. For my dressing, I got this recipe from Chef John's from Food Wishes. Remember exact amount in the description down below. I started with mayo, sour cream, some buttermilk, minced garlic, freshly ground black pepper, dry mustard, can't forget Chef John's favorite thing, cayenne pepper, Worcestershire sauce, and a little bit of salt. Then whisk all the ingredients before adding the blue cheese. Once you reach this texture, it is time to add the blue cheese. For today, I am using gorgonzola, but you can use any blue cheese you like. Before grating my blue cheese, I just let it sit on the freezer for 45 minutes. That way, I won't get big chunks on my dressing. Now all there's left to do is mix it well and your blue cheese dressing is done. I'm cooking these beautiful steaks at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two and a half hours. We got our beautiful steaks ready. We are starving. It is time to take it out. Let's do it. For my wedge salad, it was pretty simple. I split open an iceberg lettuce, added the dressing, the bacon, some blue cheese, and finish it off with salt and pepper. This is a problem, everybody. My mom doesn't want to put it on the salad anymore. He said, just leave it there. Let me snack while we film. My mom, oh, so this good. is a problem, everybody. So good. Okay, so Peter Luger, they are known for their crust. Their crust is very pronounced. And I do have a tool that can make the crust very pronounced, if you know what I'm talking about. But like always, I'm going to pat it dry and we're going to go outside and sear them. And I'm going to sear them like I mean it today, because I know that's how they do it on the restaurant. And right now, it looks kind of gray and funny. I know it doesn't look that good right now, but watch this. There you go, guys. We have our Peter Luger experience over here. Are you ready to try it? Our what? Peter Luger, you know what that is? No. Very famous restaurant in New York City that has been doing the same type of steaks 
for I don't know how long everybody for it seems like forever and uh, it's very traditional but at the same time traditional is the way to go are you ready yeah. all right let's go a little bit of vitamins Vitamins. The iceberg salad there. We have the ribeye and the T-bone, my friend. Go for it. All I can say is the smell is amazing. Which one are you gonna go for it first? Ribeye. Ribeye. Go for it. Tell me, how do you like it? <laughs> Does Peter Luger do it right? Wow, the vitamin, the, 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 the vitamins, guys, the vitamins. Wow, what a flavor, bro. What an amazing, amazing steak. Can this you guys awesome. please tell me why they call it vitamins? Why do they say it? it's vitamins? I'm very curious. Too. If they call it vitamins, bro, I call it vitamins. Oh, very good. So you try the ribeye first. The ribeye was dry aged, and then the T bone is not dry aged. Go ahead and try the T bone. Let's try the T bone. I mean, awesome, bro. The flavors on the T bone is exactly what you expect from the T bone. Really good. It's a little more tougher than the, the ribeye, of course, but both of them are delicious, brother. If it's you're awesome. If you had to pick one, which one would you pick? Ribeye, babe. All the time. <laughs> Dry age, everybody. Okay, my turn. Oh, man. Even though the steak only has salt on it, everybody, it is fantastic. Very, very flavorful because we use the vitamins. And the ribeye, everybody. Dry age, everybody. Peter Luger, I know they only make dry age steak. Unfortunately, I didn't have a T-bone dry age, but man, dry age. It's very, very different and better. Mama, what do you think? Ooh, so tender. Mmm. Guys, don't skip on your vitamins. Vitamins are very important. Why wow. do you call it vitamins? I don't understand. Oh, I don't know, but... I'm gonna call it vitamins too. They're, they're important for you, so... <laughs> I'm not complaining. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. Go for it, Mama. I don't want to be biased, but I think I know who's gonna be the winner. Who? Filet mignon. Filet mignon. Give it a try to the filet. Alright. Oh! Really, Mama? Oh! Which one is better, Mama? Oh! You sound like a weird animal. I don't know which one. A weird you, animal. You already saying I'm from the jungle. This is the, big, the animal coming out, man. Enjoy it, bro. That's the animal coming oh, out of you, Mama. <laughs> which uh, one is better for you, Mama? Uh, filet mignon. Filet mignon, nice. Mama, I did that salad specific for you. You can eat the dressing, no problem. And you can also eat the bacon. Try the salad. Can I eat the bacon? Yes. Can I eat the bacon? Now you can eat the bacon. <laughs> Try the salad, Mama. Mmm, perfect to go together. It kind of washes the, the flavor of the steak a little bit and refreshes your mouth. So you're ready for the next bite. I will love you. This is the only salad that you eat with a fork and knife, everybody. What's the name of the restaurant? Peter Luger. Peter Luger, I don't know what you guys are doing, but you're doing some good stuff, bro, so keep doing it. They've been there for many, many years and uh, with the same exact restaurant location, very traditional. How's that salad? Awesome. Homemade blue cheese dressing, everybody. Give it a try. Chef John, you are the man. It's a really good combination, everybody. Wow. Chef John, if you ever watched my videos, man, I'm a big fan of yours. Huge fan. Guys, that's it. This is the Peter Luger experience. I hope you guys give it a try. It is fantastic. I recommend it 110%. I hope to one day be able to visit the restaurant so that I can experience there myself. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If I did anything different that I should have done, please comment down below because I have never been on the restaurants. Only from videos, everybody. And uh, I would love to go. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Love you. Mama. 
100% keramama only for you. Mm -hmm. With a lot of vitamins. A lot of vitamins. Can't forget the vitamins, huh, Mama? Can't forget the vitamins. I'm gonna. Where's the spoon? I'm gonna get some more vitamins here. <laughs> get those vitamins, Mama. Very important vitamins. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Are right. you ready now? See you guys on the next one.